guys um it's me abby and uh i'm vlogging today <laughs> i know i haven't uploaded in months and that wasn't intentional but like the longer i went without uploading the like less i was interested in doing it <laughs> um and i'm not really gonna go into a big explanation as to why it's just i didn't feel like it <laughs> and that's the beauty of this being a hobby and not my job is that i don't have to do it um on a regular basis if i don't want to but i have some very exciting things to share with you guys and um that's what i'm going to be doing today i also want to give you a little update on how things are going dahlia's over here she's transfixed by the tripod that my phone is on right now she thinks it's really cool but yeah, I'm just gonna vlog today. I'm not really going to blabber too much. I'm just gonna get straight into it. So I have ordered new products for my shop, which I know you guys are all thinking like, oh my gosh, she's still trying to make her shop happen. Her shop isn't going to happen. And I know, I know. But this time I really, really thought about what I wanted to do with my shop. And if you've been following me for a long time, you are here from my like big time planner sticker shop days, which I haven't really been a part of for quite a few years now. I've not really been on that scene. I still plan, um, but I, I just, making stickers doesn't bring me joy anymore. I wanted to branch out into other products and I didn't do it soon enough. And by the time I had done it, it was too late and my following was too like planner based. And so I lost all my clientele and I've been over this before. Anyway, <laughs> here's Dahlia. She is the light of my life. I want to show you guys what I ordered for my shop. Um, Y'all know I am a huge Disney fan. Um, my husband and I go to Disney World quite often. She's already been quite a few times in her young life um so i'm trying to make like a disney mommy and me type of thing so i have ordered some charms um so i have these baby yoda charms i have these baby yoda charms that i ordered and i'm making them into bracelets with these little uh mickey mouse uh, beads and these little star beads. She's getting that into everything too. She wants to show it all off. Um, but I'm going to be making child size and adult size in these bracelets. And I think by the time this video goes up, these products will be live in my shop. If not, follow me on Instagram. I will announce it there. Um, so yeah, I have these Baby Yoda slash grow grew uh charms and bracelets and then i also updated my castle design to be like the new castle at magic kingdom with the pinks and the blues and so i have um castle charms as well um and these bracelets are a little more glitzy and glammy and they have a pink like rhinestone bead as well so they're very very sparkly perfect for magic kingdom um and so yeah i'm going to have again child size and adult size in these as well if these bracelets go over well i might even venture into the necklace side of things and uh make some charms that are better suited for necklaces and this bag also has some buttons with the same two type, type of designs. Only this time, Baby Yoda is wearing some Mickey Mouse ears, which I thought was really, really cute. These are the really tiny buttons, so you can put these on your backpack, you can wear them on your clothes, on your overalls, on your purse, on your hat, whatever you wanna do with them. And then this one is the updated castle design, and it has the home written underneath it because everybody everybody's home is magic kingdom if you're a disney world fan so yeah um that's a total of two new products and two new different varieties so four new products for my shop that i've invested in and i tried to be really smart about it and i hope they go over well i hope you guys like them um 
and I hope I'm able to venture on from here. So yeah, today I'm trying to work on the packaging, how I want to package these, how I want to present them in my shop. I need to take some product photos, start working on the listings, and then figure out when it is that I want to release them. I kind of want it to have a little bit of a lead up so that people are interested and it's not just like I drop them out of nowhere and nobody's interested because I feel like that just doesn't work for my shop. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll get into a quick little update of Dahlia. She is eight and a half months old, almost nine months old, which is not going to get into it because it's just way too hard to comprehend right now. She is a bundle of joy. She has her two bottom teeth. She's cutting her two top teeth currently. Her hair has grown so much. I think the last time I vlogged, she was almost bald or had very little hair. She's crawling all over the place. She can pull up um, herself to a standing position. She gets on her knees. She's very talkative. She's very, very sweet. She sleeps through the night. She's just a big old bundle of joy and we love her so much. She's just the best thing that could ever happen to me and it's obviously the reason why I have invested money back into my shop because anything to help provide for our family in a way that keeps me home with her is going to be such a blessing and yeah I don't ever want to be without her. I don't want to have to put her in in daycare, that's like not even an option for me personally. I'm not judging anybody who does. But yeah, that is like the whole reason behind me trying to get my shop up and going again is so I can provide for our family and also be with my baby as much as possible because she needs her mama. I'll try not to make this update or this vlog too baby centric because I've noticed ever since I started documenting my pregnancy, I've been losing subscribers and followers like crazy, which is fine. I mean, that's not the kind of content you guys signed up for when you found my channel. I'm sure you were more here for the planner related things and the shop related things. And I'm trying to get back into that. I don't want it to be too baby mommy centric on this channel, although it is like the biggest part of my life. I want this channel to be more of an extension of my shop as it once was before. Yeah. Um, so yeah, today I still have some things to do. So um, yeah, hopefully you'll follow along. I thought I would do a quick Target haul for you guys because if you know anything about Target right now, you know that their dollar spot is killing it. So hopefully some of these things are still available at your local Target by the time this video goes up because they have been selling out everywhere around me. Um, but I got two of these like rattan baskets. I thought these would be really cute storage for like some of Dahlia's bows or some little trinkets or knickknacks. So I got two of these. And these were $5. Um, I got two of these little shelves. I think these are so darling. I already have one of these hung up over here. And, and I just put a pair of Dahlia sunglasses on here. I think this little area is so darling. Um, so yeah, those were $5 a piece. And I've only seen them once and never saw them again. Um, I have to do this one handed now because I am holding Dahlia. Um, she's teething, so she pretty much only wants to be held right now, which is totally fine. Um, I also got these rattan mirrors, um, and I actually never saw these in the store. She just dropped something on my foot. <laughs> Ow. Um, I never saw these in the store, but my parents went to Target, and my mom found one. And then my husband went to Target by himself, and he found two for me, so... Thankfully, I had people that were able to get these for me because I never even saw these at Target and they already had sold out. Um, and these were $3 each. I got both of these little like craft kit things. I thought they were cute and simple. They were only a dollar, so I figured I would get these, make them, have some fun. Um, I also got this fan, which is like pump powered and you can put water in it. And I thought this would be really great for when we go to Disney World. I already have like different types of fan, like stroller fans and stuff, but I thought this would be really good handheld. And then I also got this tie-dye kit. It was only $3. I've never actually 
tie-dyed anything before in my life, and I, I've always loved tie-dye, like, the look of it. Um, I don't, I know it's a big trend right now, but I've just always loved the look of tie-dye things. Um, so I'm gonna try and tie-dye, uh, like, a mommy and me matching little set or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's my little Target haul. It was from multiple trips to find all of these things, but okay, okay, let's go. <laughs> So yeah, that was our Target haul. It was for multiple trips um, to collect all the items and hopefully they will restock them all, but I highly doubt it because the stuff was just flying off the shelf. People were going crazy for all that stuff. Hey, you're so cute. You see yourself. Yeah. Also, we went uh, flower picking twice in the last couple of weeks. Um, these are my wildflowers. They're kind of on their way out right now. There's still a few of them that are really, really pretty though, like this one and this one. Um, so these are wildflowers. Um, super, super pretty, even though they're dying. Then in here in our bathroom, I just have some zinnias that we also picked. And for whatever reason, the zinnias are doing better this time. Whereas the last time we picked flowers, the flower flowers lasted a lot longer, but these zinnias are still looking really good. I don't know what it is, but there's something about folding baby laundry that is so therapeutic to me. Whenever I get to do it, I like get so happy just because I like folding laundry in general, but folding such cute, sweet little baby items and putting them away and they like smell so amazing. It's like my favorite way to pass the time. <laughs> Sorry about the last clip cutting off randomly. My iPhone storage was full, which hasn't happened to me since, uh, I don't know when, a long time because I am pretty good about keeping things clear and transferring things to my computer quite often. So that was weird, um, but I'm currently fixing the issue and I'm dropboxing a lot of photos onto my computer so I can clear up some space on my iPhone. Problem is I know my computer is also getting full. So one of these days here, one of these days here, I'm gonna need to get my uh, external hard drive out and transfer things to that. And then I'm probably gonna need a new external hard drive soon too. So yeah, but I'm um, just working on some computer things right now. And then I also want to start um, printing out some packaging. Uh, for my bracelets and my new products and my little munchkin What's her mama so hold on <laughs> We've just been chilling out um She's been a very uh, needy today well for the past week really because she's teething So I have to take a lot of breaks to give her a lot of attention <laughs> Which is fine, I'm not complaining. It's just how way it is. It's just my life now. She is just so cute today. She's just, the way that she's playing is just so sweet. Like, she's literally just playing with my wallet right now, but she is just like amazed with it. Um, but yeah, I do this quite often. I just kind of lay down on the ground with her and it like, I don't know, it helps her a lot. It like calms her down and keeps her happy for a while. <laughs> Even when I'm not, like, when I'm done doing this, like, when I go back to work, she just stays happy for a while. She loves climbing on me, too. 
Um, but yeah, I just uh, did a little bit of online shopping while I was down here. I had some Old Navy super cash to spend, so I went ahead and I did that. I got myself a pair of shoes and a pair of leggings, and then the rest of it was spent on her because Old Navy has, like, the cutest baby clothes for the best prices. So I uh, went ahead and bought her some things for over the summer. Yes, I'm a little bit older. <laughs> Oh, and this is the reality of what the floor looks like in here 90% of the time. I do clean it up multiple times a day, but um, it like doesn't frustrate me or anything because it's like really easy to throw all this back in here and to throw all of that back in her toy bin. So it doesn't like bother me or anything, but it just, it, it brings me joy, if anything, that she is, like, at this stage where she's always getting into things and having fun and playing. She's very into my wallet right now. This is my wallet. It's from, it's by Loungefly, but I bought it at Lunch, Lunch, Lunchbox. Lunchbox? Box Lunch. I bought it at Box Lunch a couple years ago, and it is the cutest wallet ever, pretty much. But it's kind of dirty, so I'm taking it away. Can I trade you something? No? But yeah, I'm about to uh, print out that packaging that I was talking about, like, multiple times. Um, and see, start playing around with the packaging for my new products. So, yeah, hopefully she'll let me do that. <laughs>